Well, ever since this finance minister took charge, the cost of living has skyrocketed. Inflation is at a 30-year high. We know Canadians are struggling to balance their own budgets. Paychecks don't go as far as they used to. The cost of everything is out of control. Gas, groceries, housing. Yet the minister doesn't seem to care. Things are not getting better for Canadians. They're getting worse. When will this minister tell Canadians how she plans to fight inflation and when will she table her next budget? Oh. The Honourable Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, since the uh, Honourable Member across has raised the issue of affordability, let's review what we've done since taking office. We lowered taxes for the middle class twice and raised them on the wealthiest 1%, and Conservatives voted against. We created the CCB index to inflation. Conservatives voted. Order, order, order. I'll just have to give it a minute and wait for everybody to... I know it's been a while. I know we haven't seen each other in a while. We haven't had a chance to heckle in a while. The Honourable, uh, the Honourable Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of, uh, of Finance on a quick answer. Mr. Speaker, we provided seniors over 75 years of age a one-time payment of $500, and guess what? The Conservatives voted against. We're focused on affordability, and that's what we will continue to do, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Abbotsford. Well, Mr. Speaker, the question for was for the Finance Minister. Inflation is raging across our country, and Canadians are being left behind. The cost of everything is skyrocketing. I mentioned gas, I mentioned groceries, the price of home heating. Worse yet, millions of Canadians have lost their dream of home ownership as house prices spiral out of control. Yet the minister doesn't seem to care. When will she finally tell Canadians what she plans to do about the affordability crisis, and when will she table a budget? The Honourable Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. Minis Mr. Speaker, it is uh, an honour and a privilege for me to share with the member opposite exactly what we are doing and will continue to do on housing. $72 billion invested in the National Housing Strategy. $2.5 billion invested in the Rapid Housing Initiative. Mr. Speaker, investments in every corner of this country, in every riding, even the noisy ones, to make sure that housing is a right for everyone. We will continue to focus on Canadians while they're focusing on raising the temperature.